Welcome back to the rundown. Let's move now to the U.S. and a major development in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe. Political operative Roger Stone, a longtime consultant to President Trump, was arrested by the FBI on charge on multiple counts. Kenneth Moten has a story. This morning, Roger Stone indicted in the Russia probe, making his first appearance in a federal court in South Florida. The FBI took the former Trump campaign advisor and longtime confidant to the president into custody at his Fort Lauderdale home in a pre-dawn raid. Stone charged with seven counts by special counsel Robert Mueller. One count of obstruction of an official proceeding for allegedly lying to the House Intelligence Committee. One count of witness tampering in Mueller's investigation into possible collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. And five counsel making false statements regarding WikiLeaks and founder Julian Assange. In court documents, prosecutors write that after WikiLeaks began releasing internal Democratic National Committee emails in 2016, an unidentified senior Trump campaign official was directed to contact Stone about any additional releases and damaging information on Hillary Clinton. Prosecutors allege Stone also told the Trump campaign about potential future releases. The president responded on Twitter this morning, greatest witch hunt in the history of our country, no collusion. Stone's attorney said in a statement there was no Russian collusion, calling the indictment a clear attempt at silencing Roger, adding he will fight the charges. There's no circumstance under which I would testify against the president because I'd have to bear false witness against him. Responding to that comment in December, the president tweeted, nice to know that some people still have guts. The White House response to the indictment. This has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the White House. Well, joining us from New York for more is Vinu Varghese, a criminal defense attorney and a former prosecutor. But first, let's go to Washington and correspondent Mike Vaccara. And Mike, nobody expected Roger Stone to be silent. And indeed, coming out of the courthouse after being given bail, he had plenty to say just in the last hour. Well, Roger Stone's historic and lifetime lack of silence is what probably got him into the seven counts uh, brought by Robert Mueller this morning. Uh, Roger Stone, you're right, walked outside of that courthouse in South Florida after posting a $250,000 bond. He flashed the V for victory sign with both hands, a la Richard Nixon, one of his original uh, political mentors, the person he first worked for in politics. He says he will go to trial. He will plead not guilty. And as you heard, he said he will not testify against President Trump. I will not make up lies in order to ease the pressure on myself, he said. Later on, he talked to Alex Jones, the notorious conspiracy theorist who runs the website InfoWars and the WebStream, for whom Roger Stone has been employed over the past several months and even years. He says that this does not relate to collusion, of course, echoing what Sarah Sanders, the White House press secretary, the president's spokeswoman, has already said. Uh, he calls it inconsequential, immaterial, and inadvertent, the statements th that he made to Congress uh, that have allegedly brought him brought him to this point seven counts obstruction lying to Congress uh, and other other charges Caleb and Vino looking at those specific charges at that indictment that was publicly issued give us some sense of what you think Robert Mueller's strategy here is with Roger Stone well, I think first, the first thing you want to say is that, you know, President Trump is, has been holding out, a, had the government shut down over a wall to Mexico. I think he needs a wall around himself to keep the FBI and Mueller out. The, these indict, this indictment is a long time coming. And what Robert Mueller did was give Roger Stone a lot of time. You have to understand them arresting Roger Stone at his home early this morning is basically a very angry sign from special counsel Mueller. Because in these kind of cases, you tell them, you know that Roger Stone has lawyers, you know he's, uh, he's lawyered up, and therefore you make arrangements for Roger Stone to surrender himself. So the fact that the FBI went into his home with CNN filming is just really the biggest, it's just uh, basically Special Counselor Mueller saying to him, you know, Roger, I've had enough of your, of your talking. And so, you know, all, as far as the indictments, none of this stuff is good. Um, they have particular five counts of lying to Congress. Um, they have enough evidence. Some of this stuff has been already public released about these emails that confirm that he had talked to other people, and there's witness tampering here. Okay, and what about the issue of collusion? Because the indictment does say, does specify contact between Roger Stone and 
unnamed Trump campaign officials about uh, asking about the uh, these hacked emails from Hillary Clinton from uh, uh, the Democrats. So why uh, no particular charge here related to some kind of collusion? Well, remember, collusion is a term that's used in the popular media. The, 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 the criminal term, what's going to be used, you know, in court is conspiracy. It's conspiracy here. So, the the charge, the, the way that the Department of Justice works is, when they get to a certain point, they will bring certain charges. So they've given Roger Stone enough time to cooperate. He hasn't. So they've laid on basically just enough to make life very uncomfortable for him. So they don't, that doesn't mean those charges aren't coming later. It just means that for now, the, the specifics are that he uh, lied to Congress and that he tampered with a, a witness, obstructing justice. Those additional charges may be coming at a later point. And Vino, just specifically, is there a charge we did read about unnamed at this point campaign officials asking about material they knew was illegally obtained these hacked emails is that a possible criminal indictment against those people directly in the campaign yes I mean that, that's certainly a possible a lot of people you know criticize or, or they complain that this thing is taking too long you have to, that's a layman and somebody who doesn't understand how the Department of Justice works. Sometimes it can take years before a, a before indictments are brought. So in this case, there's some speculation that, that one of the senior campaign officials that reached out to Stone was Steve Bannon. So it's just a matter of time before additional uh, people are charged. There are going to be more people. And I think there is a certain point here with Stone, that he gave Roger Stone a chance to, you know, talk. He didn't. Stone is, is known. He's got a Nixon tattoo on his back. He flashed Nixon signs at his press conference. That stuff, if I were his lawyer, I would tell him to tone it down. It's time to tone it down because that doesn't help. Uh, it will run great with the base, but ultimately this isn't going to be held in a court. And the evidence at this point seems to be very strong. I think tone it down are probably words Roger Stone has never heard or heeded. Just briefly, Mike, uh, we know that the, the Democrats control the House. Are they likely to pick this up on some of those investigative committees? Well, right. And, it, and remember, the base of the, the fundamental uh, base of this charge is the lying to the House Intelligence Committee, and that was when uh, Republicans were in charge. It's unclear what direction that the House is going to go. We've already heard announcements that they're going to be asking for, for example, uh, security clearance records, uh, looking into Jared Kushner's uh, security clearance and things of that nature in the Oversight Committee. The, the struggle is, or the, 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 the line that the House always has to walk, is whether or not they're going to be interfering with ongoing criminal investigations, in this case, in the case of Robert Mueller, the Southern District of New York, or what have you. Uh, so, uh, you know, whether they're through with Roger Stone or not, anybody's guess, they certainly have a lot on their plate yeah. as it is, Kalev. Okay, Mike Vacara and Vino Varghese in New York, thanks for joining us on The Rundown.